Okay, in this video we will um, talk about the procedures to make a decent, uh, nice looking square root graph. Uh, so uh, this is the generic equation uh, which will guide us through our drawing. Now um, we have uh, h value here uh, and the k value here. Now these two values are very important because uh, they indicate uh, they together will indicate uh, where we will start our graph. So our starting point of the graph it's going to be h comma k. Okay. Now the h, uh, this value, okay, it's also indicating how much we are moving to the left or to the right. So uh, the h value here it's about our left or right shift, as we will see in the examples uh, down below. Uh, the K, it's our up, down, shift, okay? So uh, we have the, um, so, so we will shift left, right, up, down to make sure that we have the starting point. So, so uh, that's, uh, these are the two values. Now for the uh, A value here, now the A value uh, serves two uh, roles. First, if it's a minus, okay, meaning the negative, it's a minus, then it is a reflection over, uh, if it's a minus, it's a reflection over x-axis, which, which means that we are flipping, flipping the graph upside down, okay, upside down, if it's a negative. Uh, if it's uh, bigger than one, if, uh, if A is larger than one, then we have a vertical stretch, okay? If A is less than one, then we have uh, a vertical uh, compression, okay? Or uh, to be more exact, I should say uh, the absolute value of A, like the number itself, okay, excluding the negative, uh, if that's, of a, if the negative sign is there, but uh, we're just looking at the absolute value, okay. Now, how would that influence our graphing? Now, let's go ahead and take a look at an example uh, down, well, we'll look at an example here. We have six examples here, which we'll investigate, okay. And then the B, uh, B it's our horizontal, okay? It's about our horizontal um, component. Now if it's, uh, uh, if B is bigger than one, then our absolute value of B is bigger than one, then it is a horizontal compression or shrink. Okay, if um, if it is uh, if the absolute value of b it's less than one, which in which means it's a fraction, then it is a horizontal uh, stretch. Okay, horizontal stretch. Okay, and uh, if it's a negative for b, then it is a reflection over. Uh, the y-axis, okay, it's the left-right, the kind of uh, uh, reflection, okay. So, so we'll go ahead and take a look at these examples. Now, uh, we have done a few of these graphs already in class, so uh, I'm not going to set up a table, but if you want to, you may set up a table just to see the points, okay, uh, for the y value, okay, you can do that. But uh, but in class we also learned about the uh, one, three, five, the kind of graphing. So we will say, okay, uh, right one, up one. So uh, we will have this, and then we will have uh, up one, right three, okay, and then up one, right five. So that's how you will create our standard normal 
uh, regular parent function square root of x. Okay, there's no addition or subtraction, no multiplication. Okay, it's very simple. You can use a table to verify your values, but uh, the 135 should work very, very well. Okay. Now, so uh, let's quickly sh uh, go to our next example. We have x minus 3. Now, the x minus 3 right here, it indicates that uh, we are shifting the graph to the right. To the right, okay? All right, shifting the graph to the right. Uh, and, uh, and we will start right there. Now, if you say, well, how do you know? I want some proof. That's a very good question. Uh, then we'll say, well, you know what? This uh, highlighted area, it can only be as small as zero. The highlighted area right here can, be, can only be as small as zero. So that tells us the smallest possible value for x must be three, okay? And if you, in, if you use the uh, earlier uh, form here, Okay, to tell that where is the starting point. It's h comma k, right? x minus h plus k. So that would also tell you that the starting point is 3 comma 0. That's the starting point. So we have multiple things going on actually telling you the same thing. Hey, start there at 3 comma 0. So, so we'll do that and then we'll do the 1, 3, and 5. And that is how you create your radical graph in seconds, okay? All right, so, so that's how you do it. Uh, all right, so now, how about this one? Uh, where is the starting point for this uh, y equals to square root of x plus 2? Well, this is, uh, this is a number. Uh, well, it's x plus 2, but originally it's x minus h, right? So the starting point, it's going to be at negative 2 comma 0. Or we say it's shifted to the left for two units. So that's the first point. And then we'll say 1, 3, and 5. OK? And that's how we uh, create this uh, graph, again, in seconds. Okay. Once you know how to read it, you know how to interpret the values, it's, it could be done in seconds. All right, now, what about this one? Where's the starting point? Well, that's no h value. That means our starting point will be 0, comma, and it's minus 7. That's a k value, so 0, comma, negative 7. Or if you can read this, okay, as we uh, interpreted earlier, uh, the minus 7 there means that we are shifting down for 7 units. And then we'll do the 1, 3, and 5. Okay, one, three, and five, and that's it. Okay, that's it. Now, what about the, uh, what about, uh, we have uh, the two sitting in the front. Well, let's start with the starting point. The starting point is going to be negative five comma zero because uh, we shifted to the left for five units. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, five, zero. Okay, now how would the two cause an impact on our graph? Well, it's a vertical stretch, right? It's greater than zero. It's, um, uh, it's, uh, it's, um, it's a stretch. So instead of going up one, right one, we'll say every time you go up, uh, you go up by two. So we'll do the one, three, and five, except that we'll go up by two every time we go one, three, and five, okay? So you can see right here that uh, it is a two. This is also a two. This is also a two. Uh, we were doing it in terms of, uh, it, well, we were doing it by, uh, by uh, we were doing it by one, right? up one, right one, up one, right three, up one, right five. Now it's two. Uh, I think we can get one more point. This is seven, okay? So we can graph this radical. So that's how it shows it is a vertical stretch. 
So again, uh, the A value right there, it tells, it tells you how to make the graph, okay, the vertical stretch. So every time it moves up, uh, you will have to multiply by the A value, okay? So, um, all right. Now, what about this? Okay, how about that's a one half right there? Now, as we said earlier, if it's less than one, it's a horizontal stretch. So how do we stretch this when there's a one half in here? Well, we know that it's a uh, starting point, it's uh, zero comma six, right? Zero comma six. Well, instead of going up right one, up one, we'll go right two, up one. So this two right there is gonna tell us that, oh, uh, every time you move to the right, double it, please. That's how you do the stretch. So, so right one becomes right two. So the next move is to right three, but then because of two, it becomes moving right six units right here, okay? And then the next one should be uh, moving to the right for five units, then it becomes moving to the right 10 units. Okay, sorry for the bell. All right, so, uh, so this, is, uh, this is how we make a graph. So when we have a stretch, when we have a stretch, so uh, just keep in mind that uh, this is the number that we will look for, okay? We will multiply by the denominator or the reciprocal of the fraction, actually, uh, and then we just stretch it this way. So I hope uh, this video would help you understand the basics of uh, graphing radical functions, okay?